channel. It has been forever since I have filmed a video. I think it's been since like, oh my gosh, something like June. Um, I will talk about it in my next plan with me about why I haven't filmed any videos all summer. But for today, I wanted to make a video planning with you guys my September month. Um, so I bought this kit from Planning Roses. Now, you guys are probably like, what are you doing? You have a happy planner. Those kits are for the Erin uh, Condren. Uh, I've been actually using her kits for the Erin Condren in my happy planner for a few months now. And I figured I would show you guys how I adapt the kits for the Erin Condren in my happy planner. It's actually quite simple. So yeah, I just have her September monthly kit and let's get into it. I am going to start by putting down the September at the very top of the page. Just making sure I'm still in frame here. This is kind of weird. I'm just going to put this down like so and then put the other one down in the same manner. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to talk more in about it in my um, next video which is going to be a plan with me. Um, I guess it's going to give me something to talk about, but, um, about why I haven't filmed or updated you guys all summer, which I am really, really sorry about. Um, I kind of like fell out of planning. I hadn't bought any stickers since May and then I started buying stickers again recently which has been kind of weird too like not buying stickers so much because I used to purchase stickers like all the time but I think it has done me good to just um have a little break. So, ah, I feel like that's not straight. So I'm just going to put that here. And I know it's going to be a bit weird because my first row of boxes isn't going to be exactly the same size as the other ones, but I don't really care so much about that. So, yeah. By the way... I am currently filming sitting down on my bedroom floor because we have installed a mini fridge on the countertop where I used to film. So we pretty much decided that since we were four living in this apartment and that um, we didn't have enough room in the fridge for everything. We put, like, all the beverages in the mini fridge, and we just put that on the counter. Um, but it's taken the space where I used to film. So, I will either, I know the color looks a bit weird here, but I don't really mind. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out about 
where I'm going to film from now on, but that's no biggie. So I think what I'm going to do is put the August box here and then just trim this and use what I need on the other side. Good thing that her monthly stickers are matte or else I would like never ever ever be able to like place this and pull this up like I am doing. I have a feeling, I don't know if this is right, but maybe the like new Erin Condon changed the layouts of the monthly layout someone please tell me um, because I have a feeling that this used to be easier <laughs> and that the boxes are kind of a different size which is kind of weird so I'm gonna take this little square which has October yeah, no, that's what I remember. Okay, so I'm just going to <coughs> Sorry about that guys. So I just went in my washi drawer and I just picked up this purple washi that I have here and since the boxes are smaller in the Erin Condren than in the Happy Planner. All I do is that I put a little bit of washi at the top and at the bottom of my box. Ah, that ripped up, but that doesn't matter. You won't really see that. So I put a tiny bit of washi at the top and at the bottom of my box. Like so. And then I'm just going to place my sticker like right in the middle here. And there you go. And I think it actually looks kind of cute. Um, like so. So, I am going to put down the other boxes that have dates on them. So, Labor Day. Which is coming up so fast, guys. And... Oh my god, like, I am filming this on September 1st, so today we are Thursday, and I start school again on Tuesday, the 6th, so right after Labor Day, and I feel like summer has gone by so crazy fast, like, it's not even funny, and I also don't really want to go to school. <laughs> Now that, like, I don't want to go to school, um, that's not what I mean, but, like, I don't want to go back yet, because when I go to school, like, nothing that I do during the summer kind of goes out of my schedule, but a lot of things go in my schedule, so I feel like I just get ten times busier, and I already feel busy and tired. So I don't really want to like feel even busier than that. So there you go, my Labor Day and Happy Autumn are going in. 
I'm kind of excited though for like fall fashion is my favorite fashion ever and most of you guys probably know that I work in a like retail store so I love fall fashion and also I'm just really excited for like pumpkin patches and apple orchards and all that kind of stuff that you do in the fall so that's kind of good so I'm gonna put down my monthly to do's right on the side here Okay, so I'm going to turn you guys off for a second. I'm going to put down my events and everything, and then I'm going to turn you guys back on and show you guys what I've done. Okay, so I am back. Pretty much what I've done is I put months, mail, bills, event, and purchases on the boxes right here. I took my last half box and kind of cut it up here just to fill in that little bottom area and I thought it looked kind of cute and I can put a little message there or something um, I put down all my paydays my bill dues and I don't really have any birthdays this month which is really weird to me but whatever so I just put down a couple of events so my school starts here then the 21st is my month anniversary. I'm not sure, but I think on the 11th, my boyfriend and I were planning on driving down to his family cottage. So we might do that because we both have Sundays off and I don't start school on Monday until 5 o'clock p.m. So that way we can like drive down and spend the day there and then come back Monday afternoon and then um, the 30th is the last day to abandon classes which I never usually do but I always figure that it's useful to have it there just in case anything happens and I know what date it is and it's marked down and the 25th I had put a full box there just because I thought it looked good there and the 25th is actually the days that all my shows start again finally I have been so bored all summer because none of my shows have been on so I put a little house icon in my full box and I'm just gonna write down shows start again right here so this is what my full spread look looks like and as you can see it's pretty easy to adapt an Erin Condren mon monthly kit to the happy planner I find that planning roses a monthly kits are the easiest to apply to the to adapt to the happy planner um that's why I mostly always use hers I've used a couple of other shops and I just found that it wasn't as easy as her kits are the way that they're formatted so yeah I'll just show you what show you guys what I have left I have this left which I probably won't keep it just has months memories months goals and then teardrops and a bill due but I'm probably not going to use that, so I'm going to toss that out. And then I have extra paydays and bill dues, but I don't have more paydays and bill dues, so I'm just going to toss that out also. I am going to keep this, though, uh, just the boxes and the icons, because as, whoopsies, as school starts again on the 6th, I am sure that I'm going to have assignments coming up, <laughs> so I'm going to put them down as soon as I know them. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me of my monthly spread. And I will talk to you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.